Cannon is the cheapest building in the game, and it's also the most vulnerable building after Tombstone, with only 800 hit points at level 11. You have to be very careful and precise when using the cannon. And that's why I'm giving you 15 tips to dominate with cannon. Tip number one. You can fully counter an Electro Giant by placing your cannon on this tile. Place your cannon before the Electro Giant crosses this line and it should fully counter it. Tip number two. You can avoid the enemy earthquake by placing your cannon here and pushing the enemy troop with your skeletons. This way you can still use your cannon even against earthquake. Tip number three. You can fully counter a goblin drill with just cannon. Just make sure you watch out for spells. Tip number four. Against lightning, place your cannon and your troops far away from each other so the enemy can't hit both with the lightning. This will make your defending a lot easier. Tip number five. You can almost fully counter royal recruits with just cannon and skeletons. That's a plus three elixir trade for you, but you will take a little bit of damage. Tip number six. Place your cannon like this against Lava Hound and Balloon. This way, the Balloon will go in front of the Lava Hound and you can easily counter it with Musketeer or any other air defense card. Tip number seven. Against Monk, you can bait the ability with your cannon and then easily activate your King Tower with Log. Just make sure you can defend their win condition without your cannon before doing this. Tip number eight. Do not play your cannon into an earthquake. If you know the enemy has earthquake, don't just play your cannon in the middle because it will just get destroyed by the earthquake. You should rather do the trick I showed you earlier, or just use another card that doesn't get countered by Earthquake. Tip number nine. You can use Log and Cannon to retarget the enemy wind condition from your tower to your cannon. This can be very important if your tower doesn't have much hit points. Tip number 10. Against Royal Hog's Earthquake, you should play your cannon here so it doesn't get hit by the Earthquake. You can even use your skeletons to push all the hogs to the cannon. Some of them might even go towards the other tower, making your defending easier. Against Split Royal Hogs, you should place your cannon to the side with the most hit points. This way, you will likely avoid the earthquake from hitting your cannon. Tip number 11. You can activate your King Tower against Mega Knight by placing your cannon like this and then placing your skeletons here. You can also place any spirit to the same place and it will activate your King Tower. This is a very good way to defend Mega Knight if you don't have a tank in cycle. Tip number 12. You can almost fully counter Expo by placing your cannon here as soon as you see the Expo. This will probably only work once if the enemy starts predicting your cannon. Tip number 13. You should switch your cannon placements if the enemy always predicts it with their spell. For example, you can place your cannon here and it will still fully counter the Hog Rider, but the prediction fireball won't hit it. Tip number 14. You can activate your King Tower against Bowler by placing your cannon and log like this. Just keep in mind that you won't have cannon ready for their win condition. Tip number 15. When there is not much time left and you just need to defend the enemy attack, place your cannon here and it will pull the enemy win condition farther away from your tower. This way, the enemy win condition won't have enough time to get to your tower. Thanks for watching. You should also know how to dominate with evolved skeletons. So go watch this video here.